Everyday life's happening. Some days are more eventful. Others, living protected with insurance you can depend on changes your life for the better. We insure the people and things you care about. Not Not Agency. We'll help you find the right coverage so when life happens, you have the right insurance protection for your family and business. When life happens, live protected. Welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, September the 15th. We've got two guests today. Uh, we start, first of all, with Mark Palmer, Woodhaven. Good to have you here, Mark. It's good to be back. And uh, this is a special week for Woodhaven. Is it, let me get it right, it's du Director Support Professional Week? Direct Support, Direct Profes support, Direct professional, support week. professional Week. Right. Uh, what is that? That is a celebration around the country, really, uh, which is recognized by state, uh, federal, and local governments to recognize direct support professionals that work with individuals with uh, that those direct support professionals work with Woodhaven residents. Yeah. And so they're really the, the backbone of our organization. We have about 180 of those folks that provide support to our individuals. That, that, that there, it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's one-on-one, one-on-two, -on -one, one -on but a lot of it is one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Um, and just great people that are truly dedicated to, to the mission and the ministry. And, and the people that they are working with love them. They do love them. I mean, it's a it's a wonderful relationship. It's a it's a friendship relationship. It's a mentor relationship. It's a family relationship. Mm -hmm. And so it's really a calling. And and many of these, yes, I would say it is, it is a calling. A, it is a calling. Uh, it, it, it takes a very special type of person. It does. To do what they do. It does. It does. Uh, it's not just a, a nine to five kind of job. No. There's a lot of emotion involved in this. There's a lot of personal heart mm -hmm. that goes into this also. Right, yeah, it's, it's, it's truly a calling. And as you said, it's not a nine to five. I mean, uh, these folks work 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, with our folks. You know, mm -hmm. So they're obviously they're working different shifts, but um, it, it is a, it's a passion. And uh, it's a, as I said, it, it's family. And mm -hmm. uh, they treat people like family. And while Direct Support Professionals Week is a whole week, these people really deserve more than a week of, of celebration. You know, of they, we should celebrate them every day. Yeah. You know, we wish. What else have you got going on at Woodhaven? Well, it's, you know, that's the big thing going on right now. Uh, today, this afternoon, as a matter of fact, from uh, 3 to 4.30 uh -huh. in the, um, uh, the council chambers, there's going to be an event uh, where the proclamation from the city and uh -huh. the county Recognizing Direct Very Support nice. Professional Week, uh, the Chamber Ribbon Cutting is going to happen, and then we're going to have a video uh, that's going to show people actually doing Direct Support Professional work, which will give the public a real good idea of what individuals do to provide right. support. So and I think I think most people appreciate what would having is providing for our community. Well, thank you. It's a it's a great organization and we're very honored to Did do what we do. 50 years, right? 50, yeah, last year we celebrated our 50th year. Yeah. Uh, so we're in 51. And when I was here last time, we were talking about our capital campaign and we received a gift. So, oh. so thank you for that. Oh, so, good. So good. It, it, uh, your, your audience responded and we appreciate that. Wonderful. We're 95% of the way to our goal. All right. So, so, thank you. So people can still make that uh, Absolutely. donation. Come up, yeah, still can make that uh, contribution to the organization and come out this afternoon uh, okay. to, the, to the council chambers. It's going to be a great event. All right, Woodhaven, thank you so much for coming, Mark. Thank you. All right. Now I turn to my friend over here, my other friend, Margaret Tolleton. Good to have you here, Margaret. Thank you, Paul. Uh, Missouri Cures, and you want to talk about wise? Wise. You know, I'd love to say wise women because mm -hmm. it kind of has a ring, but there, wise, there is an organization, Wise Women. Is there? Yes, there is. Well, I'll have to look them and up. And you are a wise woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, this event, that uh, it's a series of events that Missouri Cures Education Foundation is um, actually producing um, and promoting this year across the state. And WISE stands for Women in Science and Entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you had one on September 10th, didn't you? We did, with so, local scientists and right. entrepreneurs here in Columbia. And then the rest of the state, we're having our next one is October 1st in Springfield. And then St. Louis is October 23rd. Now, that's a that's an all-day event. That's at the Danforth Center. Mm -hmm. um, and... Um, and then the last one in the state is in Kansas City, and that's a half day. Um, so all of these events are hopefully promoting women in science and mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. So women who 
if they're not scientists, then they also have their own business or they've opened up their new business or their lifelong um, scientists. So how does this fit into Missouri Cures? Well, actually, um, it's involving science and it's exposing new audiences to the beauty of what science can do and hopefully recruit new, I mean, the Heidi Apple um, mm -hmm. was one of our speakers at the Columbia event and she on tells September her, the On September the 10th. Yes. I wish we could have had her on here. Oh, I do too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so Heidi's story uh, um, is just fascinating how she was, I think she said a history major and then she accidentally was introduced to something about science that she changed her whole major and, and became a scientist and, you know, now has national recognition for her science that she does here at MU in Columbia. I mean, and it was just like this accidental exposure listening to her talk. So we're hoping that... See, whether, I don't think anything is an accident. I think things happen for a reason. Well, and hopefully that was we're her gonna, destiny. We're going to have these wise conferences all over the state to hopefully influence in a positive way women mm -hmm. to either go into science, learn from women in science and th how their journey has occurred and what yeah. influenced them, what has been obstacles, and then women uh, business owners, women in entrepreneurship. Okay, so when is the next one? The next one is um, October 1st in Springfield, and then followed by the St. Louis All Day event is October 23rd, mm -hmm. and the last one this year is in Kansas City on November 13th. All of this is on our website okay. at MissouriCurious.org. Is there a cost? It depends. Springfield is it's free. Okay, St. but you Louis just go to the website and right. find out. It really depends on where the okay. location. We've got about a minute left. Is there anything about Missouri Cures right now that you're excited about, really excited about? Well, I'd say the WISE events is really excited, but also with these events, Missouri Cures Education Foundation has partnered with a lot of other organizations. And that's huge. And getting the word out. Right. Getting right. the word out about the research and about advancements that have been made because of organizations like yours. Right. And we like getting good news out. <laughs> and and they're really, so those breakthroughs they're really, are good news. Oh, there's a lot of good news. You know, breakthroughs are happening almost weekly. Yeah. yeah. Almost weekly. Diseases that were thought, uh, when, you, when, you, when you look at cancer, when you look at cancer now and cancer 30, 40 years In ago. our lifetime. Yes, right. the advancements that have been made. And Missouri scientists are doing great things just within our state. Okay. So I love to promote all that good news. And you are, you're a wonderful spokesman. <laughs> What's the web address again? MissouriCures.org. MissouriCures.org. Margaret Tollerton, thank you so much for coming by and thank you for being an understanding friend. Oh, <laughs> my pleasure, Paul. Okay. I messed up today with oh. Margaret. But uh, let's see, tomorrow, Dining Wild and the League of Women Voters. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Kevin Casson, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mouser. Drop me an email. I'd love to hear from you. Bye-bye.